Hi, I'm Will Hudson, VP of Engineering and Product. A few years ago, we introduced you to QuantumScape Campus. Since then, we've built out dry rooms, installed state-of-the-art automation equipment, set up a top-tier engineering and operations team, and have made great progress toward building a better battery right here in San Jose. Now, let's take a closer look at our new Raptor separator production process, our AI-enabled inspection capabilities, and introduce our first B samples. Let me start by handing it over to Tim, our co-founder and CTO, who will introduce you to Raptor. One of the processes we've talked a lot about over the last year is Raptor, the first deployment of our next generation fast separator production process. Raptor comprises several different tools that work together to produce our separator films. Material is loaded into the Raptor heat treatment equipment. This equipment supports a continuous flow process to maximize throughput and energy efficiency. This process is essential to obtain the high quality solid ceramic separator that enables fast lithium transport while also providing the barrier between anode and cathode that we believe improves safety. Raptor is faster than our last generation process, cutting the amount of energy needed to produce each separator and increasing the equipment's throughput. Raptor also removes several process steps entirely, eliminating material inputs and reducing cost. The separators we make using the Raptor process are being used to produce our first low volume B samples of QSE5, our first planned commercial product. Raptor is also a learning platform that's helping us to develop the next generation of higher throughput heat treatment equipment process, which we call Cobra. Hi, I'm Kirsten Hessler, Director of Metrology Hardware. At QuantumScape, our metrology team is responsible for developing and maintaining the tools that we use to identify defects in our battery materials. I've been at QuantumScape for about five years, and before that, I worked to identify and eliminate defects in thin film solar cells. My background is in material science, which helps me collaborate effectively with R&D engineers. To make battery grade materials, we need to eliminate defects and non-uniformities. And doing so requires an understanding of which non-uniformities matter and which don't. From years of research on our ceramic solid electrolyte separator and our other battery components, we've developed a deep understanding of this aspect of ceramic manufacturing. Here at QuantumScape, we use various inspection methods, including optical imaging. We like imaging because it's fast and non-destructive, but engineers eventually need numbers to make statistical decisions. So we've developed a set of image analysis algorithms that turn images into numbers that describe part quality. The images are fed into our machine learning models to identify defects on each battery component that might correlate with cell performance. In our Raptor line, in fact, we've integrated 12 different machine learning models into the workflow, and these models turn our raw inspection data into actionable metrics. We use this AI-based approach every day to select high-quality Raptor films to be built into cells. And on top of that, Engineers across the organization regularly use the outputs of these machine learning models as a fast, direct way to measure the success of their experiments. Over time, we continue to improve our metrology hardware systems and our software models, and this ability to rapidly iterate is powerful at any scale. We've incorporated computer vision and machine learning models into inspection points throughout our production processes, and each of these checkpoints is an opportunity to monitor process stability, to accelerate our process development learning cycles, and most importantly, this ensures the quality of our battery prototypes. All of this has led up to the start of production of our first B samples. B sample is a designation for a phase in the automotive development process. Completing this phase requires validation of a range of performance, quality, and safety criteria that are assessed by the OEM. This is one of the very first B samples produced using Raptor. It has an energy density over 800 watt hours per liter, can charge from 10 to 80% in less than 15 minutes, and supports 10C discharge rates. If these cells are scaled into a 100 kilowatt hour pack, that would be enough to generate a thousand horsepower or more, depending on the vehicle configuration. Not only that, but it operates over the full automotive temperature range and has a better safety profile than traditional cells. It's an incredible thrill to hold this solid state cell after all the years of development and work we've put in. These very first samples from the B sample phase will provide invaluable learnings for the team as we continue to focus on improving quality and reliability. It's gonna be an exciting journey as we continue to scale. Stay tuned for more.